to tell us a little bit more about the details of FUSE certification. Where's the uh, slide? Oh, here you go. So uh, thanks for continuing to be here. We've now walked a, a very wise path. I want to show you how to get up on the, pedest the championship pedestal and become FUSE certified. I have no disclosures. So essentially, this process involves some sort of curriculum and then an examination. The curriculum is available online for free if anyone needs to review it before they're ready to take the exam. And we still do have the manual. I did a quick Google search uh, this morning and noted it's about $70 if you like to read books. You, however, have just uh, absorbed a lot of this information right here in this postgraduate course. So the examination, it is an online test. You do have to take it at a certified testing center. It com it's comprised of 80 multiple choice questions, some of which are beta questions. So if you get a really hard one, just tell yourself it's a beta question and move on. You get an hour and a half to complete the test, and you have to have a testing voucher in order to uh, initiate this process. Uh, just so you know, this test uh, took a lot of planning, uh, which wasn't cheap. It's very uh, expertly designed by curriculum experts. It's been validated, and it does undergo periodic psychometric analysis to ensure uh, quality. There are 10 curricular domains, uh, which were just covered, 63 objectives, a third of which were all based on how to be a safe surgeon using the tools that you use. How do you take the test? You get the voucher and you figure out where do you wanna take it. Uh, you can Google search Fuse course, Fuse surgery. If you just Google, Google search Fuse, there's a ton of actual electrical fuses that come up. Uh, once uh, you have the voucher, you figure out where do you want to take this test. There are 49 locations uh, in North America. We offer the test every year at SAGES, so here in Seattle, as well as at the ACS meeting. And there are five international testing centers. And for those who might be uh, international military based, there's other, another option that you can read about on the internet. Uh, here in Seattle, you and the crowd have many great options. First of all, uh, there is a special feature where you can have the voucher for free if you're a SAGES member. Uh, grab them while you can. Uh, in room 305 of this very building, it's uh, sort of on the cascade of escalators on the way up, uh, near the speaker, re speaker prep room. Uh, that's where we're doing the, the FLS, uh, FESN fuse testing. Uh, you do have to have an appointment. Uh, Brenda is our excellent contact person. You can also stop by the room and, and sign up. It's open from 8 to 5.30. The test voucher that you can get for free right here today if you're a SAGES member, it expires after one year. It's $200 normally. Uh, for a non-SAGES member, it's a little more. Now, if you're here as a uh, representative of your institution, if, if you're part of a larger group or perhaps even involved in a residency, there are group discounts. Uh, University of Colorado, we have every intern, uh, every categorical intern go through this course uh, with approval and funding and support from our chair. Why should you get certified? It will demonstrate your dedication to patient safety. It eventually might be a mandatory requirement. Uh, you also get this awesome fused lapel pin and with some proprietary nanotechnology, we've enabled it to charge smartphones and you have a special taste. All right, that's not true, but it really looks good on the lapel. You also get 12 CMEs. Uh, these are the good kind that are qualified for self-assessment and the maintenance of certification requirements. Uh, so uh, another huge benefit there. You can imagine that 12 free uh, high quality CMEs uh, if you take the test and get the voucher here. So, uh, in summation, that's the way to, to finish this all off and get one of those nice pens and actually become FUSE certified.